Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be taking a look at the upcoming major and what you can do to prepare to invest into it. As you can see in the background, CSGO recently got an update with some new community stickers and as you can see there are quite a few good looking ones and so I'm going to go ahead and open a couple of those capsules in the background for the beginning of this video. Also today's sponsor is going to be Skinport. Skinport is a great website to go to if you want to go ahead and get some nice cash for your CSGO items. You can also go ahead and use their expansive marketplace of over 150 thousand items on site to go ahead and buff up that inventory and buy some skins that you've been wanting for a while. They've got a variety of payment methods, no hidden fees, and the skins on there are going to be much cheaper than the same community market, so if you want to go ahead and check out Skinport, use the link in the description below. Thanks. So now on to the major. Obviously the major isn't going to happen for over a month, so this video is pretty preemptive, but that's kind of the point of it. I just want to go ahead and prepare you guys for what you can expect to see during the major and what you should go about doing in order to properly invest in it. If you're curious, the major is aimed to start on on the 4th through the 7th of November and it's going to happen in Stockholm, Sweden. And so far there haven't been any updates that said that the major is going to be pushed back or cancelled at all. So now that we're within a month of it, it's pretty obvious that the major is probably going to happen. So obviously the elephant in the room is the stickers that every major tends to release. These stickers can tend to be pretty good looking or they can end up being really bad looking. And when it comes to upcoming majors, we can't really say for sure whether they're going to be good or bad. It's kind of just a coin flip. This upcoming major though is a PGL major and if we remember the last PGL major in 2017 actually had probably some of the worst stickers in the entire game. I think it's pretty unanimous, everybody can kind of agree, those stickers don't look very good at all. If those stickers are any indicator of what we're going to be able to expect from this PGL major, then maybe the hopes of a great investment are not so high. I feel like it's not going to be an indicator, and I think that there's just a total coin flip whether these stickers are going to look really good or really bad, but we're just going to have to see what happens when the major actually occurs. However, there is some concept art that is kind of based around the idea of the major and some of the themes from it that we can go ahead and look at to get sort of an idea of what these stickers could look like. Here's some concept art posted on the CSGO subreddit by MN55. As you can see here, it utilizes the logo that's being used for this PGL major, as you can see in the background there. It kind of has that topper to the sticker, if you will, and that's based off of the logo that was previously shown earlier in this video, this one right here. I'm not totally against a sticker design like this. It's not particularly what I would like to see, and I don't think it's really all that great, but it's definitely not bad. It's kind of just a mid-tier sticker, I would say. Here's another sticker concept created by Bastert. This one is a little bit more basic, I would say, but this is definitely a sticker that would have a lot of hype around it and would perform well on the market because it has a nice big centered logo and a presumably pretty good hollow effect. As you can see by this demonstration, the hollow effect, at least for the Astralis sticker, is a little bit flat, which isn't totally bad. The DreamHack 2014 stickers were kind of similar with a sort of flat hollow effect, one monotone color, so I definitely don't think that's too bad. I personally think they'll follow the same trend of incorporating some themes from the major into the sticker, so I don't think this basic sticker idea will be the one that they go with in the end, but we'll just have to see what happens, of course. There is sort of a lot of last minute planning for this major, so who knows, maybe they will just go with something simple. So what should you do to prepare for this faster approaching major. Well, for starters, you should determine if you even want to invest into it. It's really okay to skip the major and not invest into it. There is a lot of popularity based around investing into major stickers as of recent, so there is going to be probably a little bit slower gaining profits here. However, these do tend to be pretty profitable events, so you just have to determine if you actually want to go into it or not. These events do tend to be pretty high profit though if you do buy straight from the sticker sale, so there's that to consider. On that same note, if you're new to major investing, then make sure you are buying on the sticker sale. You want to wait until that happens in order to actually buy your investments in-game, because otherwise you're going to be spending way too much. Sticker sales usually occur near the end of the major or sometimes after it, but every major is different and they can last anywhere from a couple weeks to a few months. And the final piece of information if you're new to major investing is that sticker sales are usually around 75% off discounts, so they make this stuff really, really cheap. Okay, so once these stickers release, which ones should you be looking for? Well, for starters, you're going to want to go ahead and pick out a popular team. This is usually a good place to start. Usually this is something like Team Liquid or Navi or Astralis. Those are going to be the popular teams that sort of have a legacy and are going to be the ones to look out for. And even if they don't perform that well during the major, they usually will do pretty good in terms of their sticker price just because of the fan base. Next, I like to look for a really good looking logo, usually one that is new to the major. So for this upcoming major, we don't exactly know which teams are going to compete, but there will be new teams that haven't really competed in any other majors before, and that's going to cause new stickers for those teams that usually look pretty good. They usually have pretty good looking logos. Then what I usually tend to 
do is I find a sticker that just has a lot of hype built around it, a sticker itself that just looks good regardless of what team it is or what the logo looks like. Sometimes there's just stickers that look really, really nice. For example, with Furia, the logo is fairly basic. It's some sort of ambiguous animal, but then because it has a really nice looking hollow effect and it looks really good when applied to skins, the Cato 19 Furia hollow got a lot of hype around it just because of that. That's kind of what I look for next, is a sticker that has a really good hollow effect, or just generally a sticker that just looks good. Making those three picks is going to give you a pretty low risk, nice looking portfolio, and it's going to be a pretty good way to diversify into the major. Of course, you can also choose to specialize into one of those categories, but if you were going to do that, I would highly recommend going for the final option, the one where the sticker has a lot of hype, because that's going to be the best option if you're specializing, as it has the highest chance of high profits. You can also base your investments off of which teams do the best, but usually that's going to be one that already falls into one of the other categories, so usually that's not something you really have to do. The other thing I want to talk about is souvenir packages. So in Berlin 2019, which is actually the most recent major that we've had for CSGO, we actually had a souvenir package set up where you essentially got these coins, and depending on how many coins you bought, you could choose souvenir packages from specific maps, and then you would get those. Now with this major, there's actually an interesting development. It actually looks like Ancient is going to be part of the active duty pool, and the Ancient collection, as we all know, is the one with the Pantera Anka and the Welcome to the Jungle the one that was released during the Broken Fang operation. So if this is an unchanged thing, and the Ancient Collection is still the same as it was, just this time in souvenir form, that could be a really good option to put your coins into, or whatever other option they have. I mean, just look at how nice a Souvenir Panthera Anka looks. So when it comes to Souvenir packages for this major, that's one that I would try to target because it's probably going to be the only one that actually has a really nice looking red skin and some nice looking pink skins in it. Also, side note, if there's any information about the Ancient Collection being part of the major that I have not mentioned yet, I'm sorry, I just didn't see anything like that. This is just what I've seen. So yeah, provided that Ancient persists into the map pool in some form during the upcoming major, that's going to be a good option to put Souvenir tokens into. Other than that, other popular ones in general are going to be things like Nuke or Inferno, and of course there's the Vertigo package for those nice AK Black Laminates. And the final thing to invest in would be viewer passes. So viewer passes are going to be something that is essentially guaranteed profit, it's just going to be a very slow moving guaranteed profit, and they also do tend to go on sale as well, so you're going to want to wait for something like that. So a viewer pass is essentially just what gives you the coin for the major, and allows you to rank that up doing their little game of where you can guess which teams are going to make it to which rounds, and that coin is still going to have some desirability going forward, and because it's going to be unobtainable at that point, it's only going to be able to be obtained via via the viewer pass, which is going to be on the aftermarket. I'd recommend picking up a couple viewer passes, they tend to be a pretty solid way to balance out your profits and give you a lower level of risk overall. So how much should you put into this upcoming major? Well I'd recommend setting aside of course your initial viewer pass, the one that you're going to use to get your coin and your souvenir tokens, if they're doing that method for souvenir packages. So set aside however much you want to spend on that. If you're okay buying the viewer pass for yourself later on into the major when it's on sale, then you're going to want to put aside $4.99 or whatever that ends up being. Otherwise if you want to go ahead and buy the viewer pass right when it releases, that's going going to be more expensive, and they range depending on coins or not, but you're generally going to want to put aside like 15 bucks for that. As for stickers, it's going to depend on how much you want to spend on it personally, but I'm just going to go ahead and put up $50. That'll include capsules and sticker expenses and all of that kind of thing. $50 is probably a good place to start. That'll get you a decent amount of stuff. The 25 will as well. It just depends on how much you actually want to put towards that yourself. As for souvenir packages, they tend to be about $3 per package. So for that reason, I'd say you should go for about 10 of them, so $30 overall. That's going to give you a good selection of different packages from different maps, and it's going to allow you some freedom there. Alright, now for something that's definitely more optional, we have the viewer passes that you're going to be able to sell on the aftermarket. So for this, if they use the souvenir coin method, I would recommend buying one of the normal passes and one of the coin passes. This is going to give you a good spread there, and it's not going to totally break the bank. For this, I'd recommend having about $25. This is of course just a sample breakdown. You can put more into it or less into it, but that's going to be a sample breakdown that you can kind of adapt off of how much you actually want to put into this. And that's about it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Thanks for taking time out of your day to come spend it with me. If you want to go ahead and talk about the major and discuss it, you can go ahead and use the Discord server linked in the description below. You can also go ahead and check out my Twitter account if you want to get some more recent updates on investments and that kind of thing. And of course, you can always check out that subscribe button if you want to go ahead and support me on my endeavors in the YouTube world. And of course, like the video and comment what you thought about it. And for cheap skins, the link to skin port is below. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Peace.